Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little intro. That was uh, the H's first little glimpse at sunlight. And I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, it doesn't seem to disappoint. So, uh, a lot of stuff going on here locally. Um, I don't wanna get too into it, but um, a, lot of, a lot of bad things happen in downtown, which is probably only about 40 minutes from from our home here so hopefully hopefully nothing happens locally I mean extremely local but um, anyways let's get our mind off everything that's going on here and uh, let's get the um, the lift all or the belly pump into the belly of the H um, I did pick up the rims as you guys can see here the front wheels are installed um, didn't really have to do a whole lot just to recap I'll show you guys here there's four bolts that hold this um, pedestal on the front right on the it would be the magneto or distributor side the front right is the one that has the built-in stop that goes up into the bolster to help prevent oversteering but essentially I dropped all four bolts in from the top and you can do so by rotating this this top plate which is connected to this shaft here comes down through the bolster and out the bottom and that's what your pedestal bolts to so I dropped all the bolts in I had the front end raised up and then I just kind of weaved the wheels and tires and the, the pedestal onto the bolts and loosely um, loosely applied the nuts and uh, here we have it I mean it's not real complicating so let's give you guys a little walk around of it so far uh, the garage door is open but the Sun is behind the trees so you won't really get to see a whole lot of sunlight on this until we get the rear wheels and tires installed and right now I'm just waiting on the um, rear rear rim clamp bolts to install the wheels and tires but I do have to get the the tires on the rear rims so installed the PTO lever that is chrome as well as you can see right down to the PTO. So let's get set up. We'll get the the lift all pump ready to install. Now the method that I use is the same method that I used to install it in this tractor when we got the hydraulic pump as well as the um, hydraulic pump for the M. It's not necessarily the most stable method but I'm confident in my abilities. I've done this several times so I don't uh, I don't have a whole lot of worry in um, the pump falling or, or anything like that. So let's get set up and uh, we'll start raising this thing into place. Okay, got the pump sitting on the floor jack. 
start raising it up. As long as you can keep a hand on it to keep it balanced, it should be just fine. tight fit so keep that in mind And to align everything here. Okay. Now, where did I put my bolts? <laughs> I probably should have used a um, 4x4, but I should be able to use some longer bolts to, to get us started. I think these are too small. size they're just not long enough let me find some longer bolts I'll install two on opposite corners to to hold it up that way we can get another block to lift it a little bit higher okay there we go should be well within position now side are in. Quickly go to the other side and get the front and rear in.
I'll have to get my extension to get to the rear ones. But pump is in place. Now we just got to install the drive mechanism. Hey everyone, in this section of the video, I do apologize for not having my microphone hooked up, but we are going to install the drive shaft for the belly pump, and in order to do so, you have to make sure that the two slots are aligned. Uh, this is just a view showing the drive shaft and the two collars that are on the drive shaft that keep it in place. Um, I have to reverse one of the collars because it's in the incorrect position. So this is showing the correct position. Oh, almost dropped it on my face. <laughs> so I'm just getting it started in both drive cogs, the one coming off the transmission as well as the one coming off the belly pump. And the paint is causing a little bit of interference. So it's going to take a little bit of help with my brass hammer to get it into place. Or my fist. <laughs> Eventually I'll, I'll go get my brass hammer and I'll coax it into place. Now this drive shaft is held into place with two cotter pins. Uh, I don't have the correct size cotter pins, so I'm just using two temporary pins just to hold it and the collars in place over the drive cogs. And I will end up getting some new cotter pins that are a much larger diameter. So, just searching for my hammer at this point so that I can get this drive shaft driven the rest of the way into these cogs. Uh, if I was thinking ahead, I probably would have cleaned the paint off of them, or at least out of the, um, the drive cog slots. But with the brass hammer, it, it falls right into place. So not, uh, not the end of the world. Now this view shows the drive shaft and both collars in place. Here I install the um, temporary cotter pins just to, just to hold everything together. Um, again, I'm not going to bend them or anything to, to make them permanent. It's just something that is acting as a pin to hold those collars from sliding until we get the correct size cotter pins. So uh, There is a pan cover for underneath the belly there. It's just a sheet metal cover. It's something I have yet to clean up and sandblast, prime and paint, but that will be installed uh, soon. Uh, basically we have to get the, the tractor back on the ground and I'm just going over the clutch inspection cover and then towards the rear there I was pointing at the draw bar, the front draw bar mount, but that's Gonna do it for this section of the video. Whoop, upside down. I bet you can hear me now. Hopefully you heard me before. <laughs> but, uh, maybe not. I hope so. I don't know. But anyways, hopefully you heard it. I'll have to, I'll have to double check the video and make sure that, uh, you could at least hear me, so. That's all I've got for this video, hydraulic pump installation, so, um, yeah, I don't know, everybody, <laughs> if you're from the area or if you're, if you're near any cities that are experiencing some unrest right now, um, stay safe, uh, be smart, and uh, we need to come together over this stuff, um, you know, this this is not the way to do things, but it is what it is right now. Uh, hopefully we can find some some peace through all this. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for wrenching with me and stay tuned for the next video. It should be the uh, rear rim and tire installation and then it's back on the ground. So 
We'll see you guys later.